Hi everyone. Today I have a project to share. It's a birthday gift for Granny Judy. She is the um, vintage art treasure here on YouTube. Um, her birthday is going to be the end of this month. So I want to uh, make something as a gift for her. Um, she is a sweetheart granny to me. Um, so the first thing that I made for her is um, a card. This, uh, this card I made out of paper bag, and um, I used a tutorial from uh, Jamie. I gonna put the link to the tutorial of uh, this card that she made, uh, so you can go check out and create one for yourself if you like uh, for this card I use uh, Tim Ho wall flower paper to um, cover the paper bag and she's going to be 74 so I have a happy 74 here and for the bottom I made these lace flowers um, and have a um, crochet flowers and the vintage button at the center and on the side I have um, like a light brown crunch flower that I made on the side um, as well as the roses from Rye Orchid Craft and some leaves and the pearl strain here for the closure of the card I just use this seam binding that I uh, dye with um, vintage photo distract ink you can just untie it like that and just open the card it's a simple card um, and inside they have this as a pocket um, I just uh, glue the trim down here and I will put the note inside this pocket I just love this paper, it's really beautiful. The image is just gorgeous. And I think she uh, would love something like this too. And this is on the back. It's a simple card, but it's just really pretty. And on this pocket, I will put uh, some gift inside for her. That's a card. And um, another one that, that I made for her is the book box. Um, this book box I uh, created from the box um, like this it's just the box that I had this one is the lid I think um, and then I just cut the chipboard to make the the front and back cover and the spine and then I glue the box um, the inside so let me go through the front real quick um, I decorated the front with the um, uh, K Company flower, uh, paper, uh, all just from K Company. And this one I think is from uh, Lifetime from the Prima paper. And this image I bought from a uh, Etsy store. I decorated the front uh, with some uh, cheesecloth and a doily that I glue on first and then I uh, made these flowers this one uh, this a uh, paper and this one is a lace that I made and I have the flower applique and the crochet flowers and the, the vintage button as a center and then I decorate the sign with uh, different sizes of roses from white orchid crab I just inked uh, this one with um, tea dye 
and this one with a vintage photo. I also have some uh, stamen and the leaves peek out from the side. And on the top here, I got uh, two. And uh, this clothes pin, no, this stick pin, sorry. This stick pin I got from um, the swap. And this one I make it myself. Um, and on this side, I also have a tool and uh, uh, crystal bead leaves. And this uh, white leaf applique peek out from the side here and there as well. And um, on the top, I have these flowers and the leaves and the steaming. This all from White Orchid Crab. And on this side, I have um, this applique uh, piece. And this one I got from uh, uh, Paper Flower Junkies, I think. Yeah. And on the side of the box, I have um, this ruffle trim. On the top to bottom, and I just uh, glue on this uh, daisy just to hide the end of the trim. And I use the ribbon to close the box together. I just have to untie it and uh, open the box. I have to move the card. Uh, <coughs> So for the inside, I also use a K company paper to um, uh, cover the inside. I thought to make um, the pocket here, but um, this image is already beautiful, so I just leave it like this. And this, um, I call it shadow box. Um, I try to make one. Uh, it's my first time and I like how it turned out. Um, this tree I make from the glue gun and then I paint it in white and brown and use um, this pen to make the line on the tree as you can see the white line and then I make these um, leaves and make the line with the same pen and make this um, cher uh, cherry blossom flowers and then uh, just stick on some butterflies and I make some flower here as well just to uh, make the one that kind of like fell from the tree already and this um, glass I uh, use the cheesecloth that I dye uh, to make a glass and this um, wooden bead I uh, use it as a stone and on the top I have the lace glue on so when this box stand up it is gonna look like the curtain um, just hang down um, for the inside, I use the brown paper and I make the, the bleak wall background using a stencil and these uh, pink flowers, I use a stem and the paint to create this and the, like the leaves, not the glass here, I use a uh, green color pencil to do a flicking um, and then use the black pen to make a dot to create this um, glass background on the back and this piece uh, is a clay piece that I made uh, using the mold that I made from a Prima resin piece that I bought um, so um, 
this is my first time that I do something like this, but I like the way it turned out, and I hope she will like it as well. So that's all I want to share today, and I um, hope you guys like it. Just leave me the comment what you think, and um, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Um, just um, bye for today. Bye.